it wasn't started as that. It was started strictly to share knowledge. The first month that we got paid, I believe I made under $10 the whole month. I think I made around $1.70. A year later, I made $1,700 that same month. And then a year later, we were past that miles. So YouTube monetization was a big thing. Pretty much any social platform you could think of. Instagram, you have big companies paying for posts. You have collaboration with many different aspects of it. Next question from Isaac. Business revenue from the first year and business till now. That's something you could Looking, or don't need to answer. <laughs> that's fine. Like I said, we do run a skeleton crew, so we don't pay a whole heck of a lot of people as far as employees. Our first year in business, I think we cleared around 70,000. And keep in mind, this isn't profit. That's, that's just in general revenue. And this year we're on track to do like 1.3. So we've escalated things. And keep in mind too, we were doing 70,000 with two of us. It was just me and my pops. And now we're on track to do over a million with four of us. It's not like we grew our company that big. It's just that we network the right way and projects just pay a little better. One other thing to add in there, because it is a part of the conference and many other speakers, if you could talk a little bit about social media monetization, you don't need to speak on specific numbers, but there are other monetization strategies outside of just the trade itself and your business itself that a lot of the people people on this call could benefit from? Well, without getting too heavily into numbers, YouTube was never a thing of mine for money. That was never the goal. With that platform, though, they do monetize and it did come eventually. It wasn't started as that. It was started strictly to share knowledge. The first month that we got paid, I believe I made under $10 the whole month. I think I made around $1.70. A year later, I made $1,700 that same month. And then a year later, we were past that miles. So YouTube monetization was a big thing. Pretty much any social platform you could think of. Instagram, you have big companies paying for posts. You have collaboration with many different aspects of it from the tool industry to pretty much anything you could think of. Any big corp will pay. And it's a way that you can use it to make money as well. It's a tough one to navigate though because you have to work with people that you really resonate with. If not, nothing is gonna look organic. And like personally, I haven't worked with one company to date that I don't absolutely love. So every company that I work with, I truly believe in. And that's helped me keep that like originality, if you know what I mean, and helped me out quite a bit. But as far as that goes, YouTube will pay, Instagram pays right now. TikTok does as well. On top of sharing your stuff, if you can get some stuff to go viral, my best video on YouTube has paid me around $750 per month actively for the last four years. And it hasn't slowed down one bit. So that video alone, I think is, let me run numbers on it. I don't know off the top of my head. That video has produced around $70,000 off of the one video. So there's money to be made. And that was a simple tutorial. I just posted how to frame a wall. So if you're into it, do it because you love it, not because of the money, if that makes any sense at all. Thank you for answering that, Matt. And it is something I wanted to bring up because there's just so many different ways to monetize your skills, your knowledge. I think a lot of tradespeople aren't aware of that yet. And I hope that through this conference and through the speakers that have been on, they have become aware that their skills are so much more valuable than they might be giving it credit. So thank you for sharing that. We will yeah. keep going. Steven, thank you for the question. When you started your social media page, did you do any boosted posts or was it all organic? I found you in Florida. Like as far as in the beginning of business, I was posting sponsored ads on Facebook in general. And I would share like a picture of a fence after a storm and try to get cheesy repair lines and stuff like that. And it didn't do anything. It never gained me a following. And then once Matt Bangs Wood was born, nothing has been promoted. Everything has been organic. It works if you're targeting like a 50 mile radius and that's about it. But the thing is not to tell you to go out and fake it till you make it, but you kind of have to do just that. There's no difference in selling a $5,000 item and a $50,000 item. It's just the sale itself. So I was advertising specifically for these little $5,000 fence repairs. And now we're advertising for say a $500,000 home. Same concept, just different value. And and who you're putting yourself in front of. 